Here at Kofa Fitness, gonna do a shoulder workout. Uh, I did a warm up set, did 85s for 10 reps, gonna move up to 100s, see how many we can get. Uh, key, keys on these. You wanna make sure, as you go shoulder press, you wanna kinda of make a circle almost. You don't need to lock out your elbows because then you're working your triceps. The main thing is really getting that circle motion in on these dumbbell presses. So we'll give these 100 pounders. See, see how many times we can go. Just finished up with shoulder press, did 85s for 10, 100s for I think it was 6 reps, just finished through with 110s, got them for 4, uh, going to move on to our next exercise here. So my dad pressing the 80 pound dumbbells, nice job, 80s, nice job, got them for 5. Shoulder press. Got up to the 110s on dumbbell press. We're going to do uh, one of my favorite lateral deltoid exercises. So there's three parts to the shoulder. There's the anterior deltoid or the front deltoid, which works in this plane. Lateral deltoid works in this plane. And the rear deltoid, which works in the reverse plane. So you got to work the deltoid at three different angles. This is one of my favorite lateral exercises. You don't have to go very heavy on this lift. Keep it nice and controlled. The key here is to keep your elbow higher than your wrist. So you want your elbow up higher than that wrist, not like this. You want it like that. So it's going to look like this. Stay so nice and controlled on this. My favorite exercises, posterior deltoid reverse fly on the cable crossover. What you want to do is keep your arms almost straight, just a slight bend in the elbow, just like dad is doing there. You want to keep your elbows high, really pinch those shoulder blades together. Here we do them on the cable crossovers, so you just cross the cables in your hands and you're going straight out. Keep your hands up nice and high by your chin, straight out. Don't bend at the elbows. Keep the elbows in that same position the whole time. Really working on that. Our next exercise now, we're going to do upright rows with the plate and front raises. We're going to work some different parts of the shoulder. The front raises are going to work the, the front deltoid. Upright rows are going to work the lateral delt and the traps. I suggest always doing traps on a shoulder day. The uh, reason, reason behind it is anytime you're doing lateral movements, upright, front, the trap is also getting work. So you get it more warmed up than you do on back day. A lot of people do it on back too, but back you're usually doing rowing motions, trap works up and down. So if you do it on shoulder day, it's gonna be a lot better and gonna prevent you from getting injuries. There you have it. With upright rows and the front raises of the plate, did three sets of those. I did 15 reps each on the upright and the front raises. Going to finish off with some shrugs here. I see a lot of people messing up on these in the gym. A lot of people like to roll their shoulders. You're just asking for injury. The way the trap works, pull up, pull down, act like, act like you're trying to hit your shoulders to your ears. Shrug them way up. So it's going to look like this. Just going to show you a few reps, trying to get warmed up here.
Tim Rudd's yard. Remember, you two, you got to lift big and eat big.